so a review from that first video is like how many positive uh, uh, real solutions could there be for this polynomial or zeros for this polynomial so I'm counting I'm counting one sign change two sign changes three sign changes so that tells me there could be three positive real solutions Or there could be um, one positive real. Can you remember how it how it uh, decreases by two? Now let's go see how the negatives work out. So hopefully you remember from that other video that the way you determine the number of negative, the possible number of negative real solutions, you can evaluate the polynomial function for f of f for negative x. And then what you've got to do is you've got to remember, well, let's see, a negative number to the fourth power is going to stay, you're going to turn positive. But for the third power, it'll stay negative, so that changes the sign of the 148. Uh, stays positive for the, for the uh, x squared term. Changes sign here. Uh, and then minus 195, of course, that constant term doesn't change. So how many sign changes do I see? Well, I see none there, none there, none there. Uh, actually, wasn't there one of them here? No, no sign change, no sign change, no sign change. One sign change. So that tells me there's got to be one. Uh, let's see. Give back the pen. There has to be one negative real solution. So now. We're going to go back and decide, because the purpose of this video is to decide how many complex uh, solutions, or, or not complex, how many imaginary solutions it could be. I know there's going to be four complex, because remember, a real number is a complex number, just with no imaginary part. And because the degree is four, I know there's supposed to be four solutions. So from the work I've done so far, I know that there could be three positive reals or one positive real. And I know there has to be one negative real. I mean, there's only that one sign change, and that can't reduce by by two, right? So that gives us some possibilities. I mean, I could have uh, it's a, a fourth degree equation, so there could be there could be one negative real and three positive reals, and that counts for the fourth degree equations. In that case, that would be four solutions. So that means there could be zero imaginary solutions, because that would account. And let's see, imaginary, let's see if I can spell mirror solutions. Or what if there's only one positive real solution? And if there's one negative real solution, that means there has to, if that's the solution, there would have to be two imaginary solutions. So that's the possible thing we're going to look for. We know we, got, we know we have one negative real, so then we'd only have to either look for one more positive real, and then probably we, we might have two imaginary solutions. Or if we could find three positive reals, we know we wouldn't have any imaginary solutions. So that's how we can list the possible uh, real and uh, imaginary solutions in a poly first polynomial. Use that Descartes rule of signs. It's a good tool to remember.